The Emerson Electronic Unit Control comes factory set to control units with the condensing temperature, usually right around 70 to 90 degrees condensing temperature. Now, if you have an application where that is either too high or too low, there are parameters that you can adjust to change that setting. So in order to get to those settings, first thing you need to do is get into the programming menu, which you do by holding the set and the down arrow buttons. This gets you into the level one programming mode. However, to get to the fan controls, we actually have to get to the second level. So to do that, we hold the set and the down arrow key again for a few more seconds, about seven seconds, and it'll get into the level two menu. So now we're in the level two menu. So to control the fans, the first one parameter that we want to get to is the SF1 parameter. This is the cut out uh, set point for the first fan. So there at SF1, we'll hit set, and you'll see that this is set at 70, 70 degrees. So this is the cut out temperature. So if we want to raise it, let's say to 80 degrees, this will maintain a higher condensing temperature. So hit set. And then HF1 is the differential. So this would be actually the cut in. So it'd be the SF1 value plus whatever you set as the HF1 value would be your cut in. So right now it's set at 10 degrees. So that means the 80 degree cut out plus 10 degrees of this value gives you a 90 degree cut in. Now we'll change the, the settings for the second fan as well. Let's raise those up. So right now it's at 85 degrees. Let's raise that to 95 degrees. And we'll hit set. And then again, there'll be the differential. So HF2 on here is set at 15 degrees. Let's go ahead and lower that down to 10. So that means your cut in for your second fan will be at 105. So to check that, let's go ahead and exit. So to exit the menu, the programming menu, we'll hit set and the up arrow button. So right now we've got a suction pressure at 26 degrees. I'm going to hit this up arrow button that gives us our condensing temperature. So now we're going to raise this up and we should see this now at that new temperature at 90 degrees, that new fa that fan will come on. So there's 90 degrees. Now we hit it again, and our second fan will now come on at 105. So we've just raised the condensing temperature from the factory by 10 degrees.